welcome to the My Yoga Nijmeegse Vierdaagse Yoga Challenge. So, um, I'm wearing my Brexit belt. Look. <laughs> so, um, this will be really like a... This practice will be like a breakup. Once you have decided to do it, just get it over with. <laughs> so, it's because I have to go to a work like um, in 10 minutes or so. So, uh, uh, it will be short and snappy. <laughs> Okay, um, this is really good news. We have Max here. Max is my cat and uh, uh, he wasn't eating this morning so that was really bad. So I already force fed him twice and um, looks like he's doing a little bit better now. So that's really nice. Hi! I would never break up with him. <laughs> okay, so um, uh, starting downward facing dog. you're here and <laughs> just in case you didn't know what downward facing dog was you do now <laughs> and then you start to pedal it out so you like straighten one heel towards the floor and the other so you create some length at the back of your legs You can lift that leg up, so it doesn't carry any weight on it. And then you come into a high plank. And you start to pedal it out here. So I was saying that this um, practice is like, like a breakup, short and snappy. But the truth is, is when, when I had my breakup, my boyfriend and I just kept living together for two years and we, we both liked it. So <laughs> don't take advice on short and snappy breakups from me. <laughs> you can take advice on peaceful relationships from me because I'm really good at that. Okay, so now you uh, come back to downward facing dog again. Now from here, take your knees to the outside of your mat. Mat, take your big toes together. And take the hands under your shoulders. Exhale here. And inhale, twist to the right. Take your hand all the way up and exhale, bring your hand up. Inhale, open up to the left and exhale, bring it down. Inhale and Back to downward facing dog. Bend your knees, inhale, bring your right foot up. And exhale, draw your knee to your forehead, press your hands into the floor. Bend your left knee as you transition back, inhale, bring the right foot up. Exhale, bring the right knee in. And then to your left elbow, so make a twist. Inhale, bring it up. And exhale, bring the knee to your right elbow or right upper arm. Inhale up. And then exhale, take the foot back. Inhale, take your left foot up. Exhale, draw your left knee in. Inhale up, exhale, twist it to the right, inhale up, and exhale, bring it to your left elbow, inhale up, and exhale, 
exhale, take it down. Take the knees to the edges of your mat again, your big toes together. Just reach the hips back. And then you make a little twist. So take your left arm um, all the way to the right. And then you bring your left shoulder down. And take your head onto the left ear, left side. Lift your head up, bring your left hand in front of you and take the right arm um, across and then take your head onto the left side. And then you come back onto hands and knees. And so bend your elbows slightly. Inhale, move forward, lift your head up. And exhale, move your hips back, round your spine, tuck your chin in. Inhale, come forward, lift the head up. And exhale round. And inhale. Hollow your spine, lift your head up. And then come to center. Exhale here. Just start to circle your hips. And just move your elbows and your shoulders as you please. It's a very flowing movement. Fluent. And then you take that circle to the other side. back to center. So the knees are, um, have, a, 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 have a little distance between them, like the size of two apples. And then you uh, lift the knees up and you start to move forward and back. And take your knees down. Take the knees to the edges of your mat and your big toes together. Reach the hips back. Take your elbows wide. Take the hands together. Take your forehead down to the floor. Take your hands overhead in the direction of your shoulders and neck. And release, release the hands, lift your head up. And then you come to a squatting position. So the knees uh, are pointing out, the toes are pointing out. And you have your heels up for this one. Spread your fingers. Take your hands shoulder width or even a little bit wider. Lift your hips up. Bend your elbows, lift your heels up, and just rock forward and back. Maybe this is, this might 
what you want to do today. Or if you want to go further, then you lean forward to your hands and then inhale here. And exhale, press the hands into the floor. Tuck your navel in and let the feet come off of the floor. Keep them together. Maybe you want to lift them up a little bit higher. Press your hands into the floor even a little bit more if you like. And then you release. And take your knees to the floor again. And your toes back. Just shake up your hands. Okay, now let me have a look at the clock, how we're doing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's not make this practice two years. <laughs> okay, so you come onto your back. And you interlace your hands and take them around your the back of your head. And then take your right leg up. Now inhale, drop the right leg. And exhale, bring it back up. So inhale down. And exhale. Two more times. And then switch your legs to the other side four times. Inhale as you lower. And exhale, you bring it back up. And then you bend your knees and take your hands to the backs of your knees, take your chin to your chest, just round your spine, and then roll over your spine. So if this is really easy for you, and you can um, extend the arms, basically not use the arms, use the legs. And then you roll up to sit. You come in a seated position, legs extended. So take your um, feet together, bend your knees, just lean towards your legs. You clasp your ankles or the sides of your feet. Inhale, elongate your spine. Exhale. Press your heels forward, forward fold. And just let your spine round here. So make it relaxed. If you don't like um, the feeling of your belly pressing to your legs, then you can take your feet a little wider, bend the knees as much as you like. Just really kind of like chill out here. of the Nine Minutes of Firdafsa 30 Day Yoga Challenge. See you tomorrow.